Hi, I'm Miles Beckler, and in this video, we're gonna look at how to grow your business online or grow a business online if you have more money than time. As we covered previously, every person is gonna fall into one of two categories. You either have more time than money or do you have more money than time? And that's what we're talking about here. So I'm assuming that you've either come through some sort of a windfall, um, you have a lump sum of money that has come in and you're looking to invest that inside of your own internet-based business, or you're a professional who's busy and you're making good money, but the lifestyle just doesn't resonate with you and you wanna build a business that can offer you a better lifestyle, a little bit more time freedom, more time with your family, with your kids, uh, maybe some location independence. And this is great. The fact that you're able to bring a little bit of money to the table to invest in your business is definitely going to speed up the process of getting your business going. You know, every dollar that you're able to invest is kind of like a, like a seed. And that seed is not just going to grow a plant. That seed can grow an entire forest because everything you do builds on itself and it can compound. So the first thing that I think is important to think about for yourself is, are you, do you consider yourself to be tech friendly or not? Because if you're tech friendly, it opens up a few different options. And if you're the type of person who you get code, you get how the web works, HTML as a language doesn't scare you, you maybe have some sort of background in programming, that can be a gigantic advantage to you, um, but you're still able to invest in getting other people to do that. If you don't have any tech skills at all, no worries. There's a lot of systems that have come out in the last couple of years that make the process of building the website and growing everything out as you need very, very simple. So again, there's three components that you'll have to deal with and have to create and get working together to grow a successful business online. Number one is the website one. If you're tech friendly, if you like having control and you feel it would be relatively easy to get a server, install a script on the server and customize the CSS and the HTML and possibly some PHP, if that makes any sense to you, you might want to think about using WordPress, WordPress along with a premium theme. This will open you up to a little bit more flexibility and freedom long term. If that all just made zero sense to you and you're like CSPH what? Perfect. There are solutions for you as well. Um, and I use one of them right now. The one I'm currently using is called ClickFunnels. But let me give you a caveat real quick. Below this video in the description, you're going to find a link to my resources page. I'm always testing new systems. I don't love the tech. I hire people to do the tech for me, which is something you could do. So I want to let you know that right now that's what I'm using, but click the link below and I keep that page always updated with the newest system, right? And these website building systems, when I say there's no tech involved, I mean there is no tech involved. It's point and click. It's much more like using PowerPoint, if you will, to design things. You, you essentially click, you add a component where you want. If you want an image, you just add an image. If you want a headline, you add a headline. Um, and it all just works. It's brilliant how well it works. So that's the web component. Number two, you need an email list provider. And again, I don't vary on this at all. Aweber is the email list provider that I use. It's the only one I recommend. Uh, you can find a link to it below. And the reason is because it hits the inbox every time. And if your emails aren't hitting the inbox of your prospects, your business is not going anywhere. On the traffic side, this is where it gets really interesting. So not only are you able to speed up the process of building your website out, and we're gonna show you all of those steps here um, in this channel but you're also able to speed up the process of getting people to look at your website. What this does is it gives you feedback very quickly. You're able to shorten down the feedback loop to make it really quick on testing ideas, testing headlines, testing offers. This means the odds are you'll get to an offer that works to an offer that converts and brings you leads and sales much more quickly because you can pay to get traffic to come to your site. Now, the other, the alternative is to use your effort to get traffic to come to your site. But what you could do for 30, 40, $50 a day is literally months and months of work. If one was to go about it through kind of content marketing or effort based marketing that would drive traffic. So kudos to you personally, I started out with no extra money. So we had to hustle and bootstrap everything up ourselves. But once we started generating a little bit of income, I reinvested and I went down this 
path that we're going to talk about in this series here about if you've got more money than time. And what has happened to my business since I've shifted over to the model that you're working within or that you're kind of the path that you're going down, um, my growth has accelerated significantly. It really went from kind of a hobby that was generating income and it was a lifestyle business, but now we have a real business. I can measure specifically. If I put in X dollars into my marketing funnel, I know for a fact I'm going to get out X dollars plus Y. It's measurable, it's consistent, and I've been able to really grow my lifestyle on it um, in a way that it wasn't as predictable beforehand. So that's where we're gonna go. And really quick, another note for you. Since, you know, I'm kind of expecting that you're a professional of some sorts. Maybe you're a lawyer, maybe you're a doctor, maybe you're a professional customer service representative. I don't know exactly what you're doing, but you, you've you got a full-time business that takes a lot of your time. Two things, number one, are you going to be able to, or are you thinking about transitioning a part of your business or a part of your knowledge you've gained through your business into information products? If you're able to do so, if you've been a great DUI lawyer for 20 years and you have the three things that everyone must do just in case they get a DUI, that could be an amazing funnel right there. Um, it's kind of like you're, you may have a unique advantage over everyone else who's watching this video because you may have some experiences. So I want you to kind of dig deep and think, what do I do on a daily basis? What have I been doing for five, 10, 15 years that could help other people? And if they knew the trick to how I do it, it would make their lives easier. If that sparks something for you, that could be a very profitable niche that will come really easily to you. And you might not think of that at first because you might think, well, well, doesn't everybody know that? Or all the lawyers talk about that or all the doctors know this. But if you have a specialty, really get introspective on that because it would probably be a lot easier to create all of the next steps on something you're knowledgeable about. With that said, you don't have to go down that path. Um, you have full control over, if you want something totally new and you wanna break out into a new area, that's fantastic as well. But I do kind of implore you to think, uh, you know, what kind of a competitive advantage or unique advantage do you bring to the table that not everyone else who's watching this video could, because that could also expedite the process of getting your business going. So if you're ready to take the next steps, click the subscribe button above. I'm happy to keep sharing these videos with you. And when you click subscribe, you'll be notified when the next videos and the next steps are available for you. I'm doing 90 videos in 90 days. I'm about a, 10, a third of the way through that at this point, Meh, maybe a quarter of the way through that at this point. Um, so these videos are gonna keep coming and I've got it scheduled out to where I'm literally gonna show every step, those big three components we talked about, I'm gonna dig into all of the sub components. I'm gonna do over my shoulder kind of videos so you can see every single step. And I'm putting it all here on, on YouTube for free. I don't need to sell this as a course, although I could. Um, I'm more interested in kind of legacy move of getting it out there. And also leave me a comment below. If you have questions about what I've spoken about, let me know, I'm happy to answer them. And be sure to click the recommended resources link below in the description. If you're interested and ready to kind of get started with any of these tools, that's where you'll find the most updated and most current tools that I'm using in my business. Um, and I'm building my business and my lifestyle with trust in these tools. So if you wanna leverage that trust, click that link and look at what's working for me. And I, I would recommend using those tools as well to kind of speed up the process of getting your business going online. All right, thanks again. Click subscribe, leave me a comment, and I will see you on the next video.